Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And if like me you're hopeless at organising your objects in Blender, hopefully this is going to help you out. So I've been designing a set of faceplates that are going to go on some models for Warhammer 40,000 and as always I get into a project, get going, get quite enthusiastic about what I'm doing and end up with a collection on the side that is basically just a list of, well, cubes and cylinders and everything and it's not particularly helpful if I'm trying to find parts. And to be fair, this is an example where it's not even that bad. Like this is a relatively small project. This list can be absolutely hundreds long. And sometimes you're wanting to find a part, especially if it's something that you've hidden at some point and you want to type in a name or just be able to see where it is easily and you just can't find it. So hopefully this is gonna help out. Now I'm sure you're aware that if you click on something and press F2, you get the object name and you can rename it. So for example, say I wanted to call this rivet to show that they're rivets, I can do that, but there's no way I'm gonna be doing this for all these individual objects. And even if I was doing it as I went, this would just be a really bad choice. It would just take forever. I only do that for things that are really important as I'm going along so I don't lose them, but you know what, it would be nice if there's a better way of doing this. And there is. So let's go through some of these and talk through them. So all of these revolve around the F2 key, except for if you hold down Control and press F2, you get a whole option for batch renaming either selected or all things, and you can do various different things with them. So we'll just talk through some of these examples and see what we can do. So we're going to start with me selecting all of these, which are the rivets, and we're going to rename all of these in one go. Now all of these are actually cubes you can see here, so if I press Ctrl and F2, I can use this find and replace, I want it only on the selected, so it tells me that I'm going to be renaming 20 objects, and I want to find all the cube, and then change it into rivet. Click OK, and you'll see that now we have all of our rivets. So really nice quick way of renaming things. But I also want to break these up into my different face plates. So, for example, I might want to select all of these, which include some of those rivets, Control and F2. And this time, instead of finding and replacing, what I might do is just set the name. And you can see that you've got options like we can put in a prefix, so that's the beginning, or a suffix, so that's at the end. So, for example, I want a prefix, and I'm going to call this face A. Make sure it's unselected, click OK, and now everything that is part of this is now face A. And I can do the same thing over here, and I can change this, so we'll go to prefix again, and we're gonna call this face B. Click OK. Now, this is really helpful, or at least I think it's really helpful, because it means that whenever I'm looking for something, I can always just type in face A up here, and it will bring me only those objects that are to do with that face. So it just makes life a little bit easier and a little bit quicker, and it really doesn't take that long. Now, one thing I'll say with this, which I just think is worth noting, is that you can also do the same thing. I quite like this with suffixes. So for example, if I selected lots of different bits here, so let's say those, as well as all the rivets, I can, for example, do the same thing, but this time with a suffix and put in something like crown so that I know these are all the crowns. And I'm gonna actually put an underscore there just to make it easier to see. So now I can know which bits are part of the crown. The other place I'd really suggest using this is something that I don't necessarily need. If I just shrink this collection, you can see that I've also got a cutter collection here, and that's automatically generated by hard ops and box cutter. So if, for example, I want these added on, I can go there, press control and plus, and then these now go into, or these rivets, now go into my cutter collection so it's automatically moved it across and I've got face A rivets there, which allows me to easily hide them or find them again. Now, if you don't have hard ops and box cutter, then I really suggest either create an extra collection. If you do that, then what you want to do is that once you've used these cutters, you just press M and then you can move it to a cutter collection if you want to, so you can keep these collections really nicely sorted. Or if you don't want to use lots of collections, I would honestly suggest you use the collections. You can use Control and F2 and give them all, for example, a suffix like cutter. So not the most exciting thing to cover there, but hopefully it should really help you sort out your files and it should save you time when trying to find objects in the future. As always, if you found that useful, please do hit the like button, click subscribe if you're not subscribed, and if you want to support the channel further, there is a Patreon page, the link's in the description, and for a few dollars a month, you could get these videos ad-free, a week ahead of time, and some other cool perks as well. Have a great day, guys.